artificial intelligence how will it impact the world we live in today there are many possibilities life will be much easier than before but how would we know it let's get back to what artificial intelligence really means it's a system designed to collect information and data and create unique algorithms and patterns identify stimulate and execute commands given from a computerized system built by human intelligence robots a computerized system designed to imitate human beings reason now have human like conversations is already happening now discovering meaning and the ability to learn from past information and data and make its own decisions so let's go back in time where it all started in year 1950 this all started with imagination robots machines were more of a fiction those days but a group of scientists and mathematicians and philosophers in that generation who were highly curious about can machines really think whether a machine could really think this was positioning in their minds and so one such person named Alan Turing a young british polymath who used mathematical possibility of artificial intelligence Turing suggested that humans use available information as well as reasoning in order to solve problems and make decisions so why can't machines do the same thing this was a big question that has given life to reality today at present this was the framework of his 1950 paper article computing machinery and intelligence in which he discussed how to build intelligent machines and how to test their intelligence unfortunately talk was cheap in that era which stopped turing from getting to work right then first computers needed to fundamentally change before 1949 computers lacked the key for intelligence they couldn't store commands but only execute them that is computers could be told what to do but couldn't remember what they did so it was a problem and it didn't seem realistic and was not accepted in the way of thinking in that era however 5 years later from 1949 three people named Alan Newell Cliff Shaw and Herbert Simmons Alan a computer scientist and a cognitive psychologist John Clifford Shaw a system programmer Herbert Simmons a political scientist economist and a sociologist designed a program called Logic Theorist it was a program designed to mimic the problem solving skills of a human and was funded by Research and Development Corporation. It's considered to be the first AI program held in year 1956. The event was hosted by John McCarthy and Marvin Minsky, who had the idea of bringing top researchers from various fields for an open-ended discussion on AI. the term which was the main theme for the event sadly though the event was not up to their expectations and was a failure but the researchers who came to the event never forgot the concept of ai at that time and only built more curiosity and that ai was and will be a possibility and it can be achievable a glimmer of hope was created However, the significance of this event cannot be undermined as it was the kickstart to the next 20 years of AI research. From 1957 to 1974, computers had the ability to store more information and became faster, cheaper, and more accessible. 
machine learning algorithms also improved and people got better at knowing which algorithm to apply for their problems, improving problem solving ability. In year 1970, Marvin Minsky, an American computer scientist, told, From three to eight years, we will have a machine with the general intelligence of an average human being. However, it was still a long way to go. Early 1980s, John Hopfield and David Rummelhart, John, an American scientist widely known for invention in associative neural network, and David Rummelhart, an American psychologist who was known to contribute to the formal analysis of human cognition, popularized deep learning techniques which allow computers to learn using experience. And Edward Feinberg, a computer scientist in the field of AI introduced expert systems which mimicked the decision-making process of a human expert. Expert systems were widely used in industries. The Japanese government heavily funded expert systems and other AI-related systems for their fifth-generation computer project, an ambitious 10-year project to build a new kind of computer to catch up with research in other countries which resulted in known scientific breakthroughs, according to European and American scientists, but still was a major contributor to AI. During the 1990s and 2000s, with the arrival of the World Wide Web, known as WWW, commonly used in most of our searches on the internet, many of the goals of artificial intelligence had been achieved. Networking and algorithms have improved drastically and more information and data was added into the system which paved way for AI to develop much, much stronger. In early 2000s, internet started to bloom and grow to one-of-a-kind system that brings information and data at your fingertips. A technology currently advancing and growing day by day. However, there is a negative side in AI. Since the economy is controlled by information and data, this technology needs to have its limitations especially for classified information. If not, it may cause economical setbacks if used in the wrong manner. And it also applies for personal privacy as well. With the rapid pace in change of this technology, it may cause rapid changes in human behavior. Behavior, if good, will not harm anyone if not used properly and falls in the wrong hand. Like people who have antisocial, egocentric, autocratic and selfish characteristics will create problems and harm in the world we live in. This technology has the ability to threaten democracy and security, which will cause harm. The absence of empathy. Will a technology like AI understand another person's thoughts and feelings in different situations and in different capacities? If you are unable to stick to your discipline and principles and depend 100% on AI, it may cause skill loss and increase laziness that will lead to displacement and loss and lack of creativity. So, these are a few possibilities that can happen if not used responsibly. In addition to this, AI can be used as destructive weapons, especially when it comes to war and military requirements. Robo-machines through machine learning and advanced learning can be manufactured as weapons for war and as spyware to track and hunt enemy territories. A tool and solution for the military to have less casualties in the battlefield, yes, it's a good thing from the military point of view. but. This fall into the wrong hands, like a terrorist organization, may cause high-end destruction and chaos. So the capacity of destruction, if used for the wrong purpose, will cause a lot of loss, human lives and pain. This is the dark side of AI technology.
Okay, let's talk about the good side of AI technology. AI can save a lot of time and energy. Work that used to take years can be done within months or even days. AI can generate many ideas when it comes to starting a productive business and can support you to build your own website, your own app. Especially for the guys in the IT field, AI can be used to improve cyber security and privacy. It will be a handy tool to be used. For the manufacturing industry and in the industrial engineering field, AI can be used for efficient process engineering and re-engineering and increase productivity if done right. So the engineer's job will be much easier. It can easily detect and track idle time and defects in the process and increase output. For individuals, since AI has become part and parcel of many social media platforms, AI will know your interests and will provide you with effective details that interest you. Like your favorite song, your favorite sport, you like to watch your favorite actor or actress you like to see. This is possible due to the study of the algorithm. So it's, it may study your search and read you and will make your life easy for you to enjoy. AI can provide you even with digital assistance, a digital voice command person like Siri or Alexa, Google Assistant and so on will help you in answering your questions. So for the guys who are lonely, you are not alone, there is a Siri for you, there is an Alexa for you and Google Assistant. Sure, I'm always happy to make new friends. I'm so excited. AI voice commands for you if you have questions to ask, you can ask them. AI can be used for facial detection and navigation. Facial detection, skin detection to recognize you, to be used as a lock for your smart devices and protect your privacy. So you don't have to always sign in the register before you come to work or something. Those are all outdated stuff. You can show your face and it will detect you and you are marked present or you can use your finger, uh, skin, right, and it detects you as present. So it will accurately do that. You don't have to tell others to sign for you, you will get caught. And also AI can be used in map and navigation to provide and direct you to the best restaurant. If in case you are hungry while you are traveling, it will help and direct you to go to the nearest restaurant and the best restaurant in the vicinity. And also, it can assist you to give directions to a location you haven't gone before. So your journey will be safe and will have a good end. AI machines can be used for agriculture purposes, like for effective watering systems in the field, for growth. And also AI can be used for creativity and animation as a strong tool, especially now at present. It's been highly used for graphic creation and animation and also helps to provide you with new articles if you are a student in helping you to get effective statistical reports for presentations, for assignments and research related exercises and so on. But make sure you use AI or the tool ChatGPT as a guideline rather than depending on it 100% because if you do that you will not learn you will not develop yourself if you will just copy and paste so make sure you don't do that and you use the tool as a guideline or guidance for your assignment or research that you are going to do uh, in the proper way in addition to that law enforcement criminal justice authorities and nations intelligence units increasingly use artificial intelligence and automated decision-making systems ADMs these systems are often used to profile people 
predict their actions and assess their risk of certain behavior such as committing a crime in the future. This can have bad consequences for the people involved who are profiled as criminals or considered as risk even though they haven't actually committed a crime. So these criminals are under constant pressure and supervised and checked using AI surveillance. However, AI can play a major role in preventing devastating actions and activities before it arises. So it helps the authority to be proactive and more reactive that will keep all of us safe. So I can go on and on with all the good things that we can do using this technology. The good you can do using AI is unlimited. To make this world a better place to give purpose to your life in whatever you do. AI will play a major role in the future for sure. So we now live in the age of big data. An age in which we have the capacity to collect huge sums of information. The application of artificial intelligence in this regard has already been quite fruitful in several industries such as technology, banking, marketing, social media platforms, apps and entertainment. We have observed that even if algorithms don't improve much, Big data and massive computing simply allow artificial intelligence learn through brute force. The main message for whoever watching this video is to use AI responsibly, not to harm mankind, but to protect and develop your communities, your nation, your friends and family and the people around you and to use this technology designed and created by human intelligence to make a peaceful world to live in. AI in itself is a valuable and powerful tool that can be used to do it. I hope you got the message clear. If you have strong values within you, and if you know and recognize what is right from wrong, I think you will add a lot to the world by giving a helping hand to the world, to the needy, to the poor, the people who are suffering in poverty to make them happy and make a better place for all no matter what religion you are in, caste or country you are in. If you make the effort using AI in the good way, for sure it can create wonders. Remember, be vigilant of the dark side of AI. While being vigilant of that, Turn the table over to the good side of using AI in the correct way and rest will create peace. So are you looking for a way to learn coding, web development, advanced languages and using ChatGPT in an effective and efficient way? From beginners to expert level an ideal crash course on ChatGPT and a powerful ebook for web development together with developing your personality with breathtaking presentation skills? If so, do check the links in the description below. Remember, it all started with imagination. So make your imaginations come true.